Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Gravity with Team Monster, and y'all watching Break Advice. Not Today we're gonna work on a sporadic transition. Um, if you know me, you know my style is very dynamic and I use a lot of flips. So what better not to show you guys and teach than a flip itself. We're gonna mix what's called the back handspring with a windmill. So the first thing you guys would need to know how to do is the back handspring. Back handspring starts hands up and it's a dynamic move, it's also a flip. All right, it's here. If you have a back handspring, that's the first step to the move. The second step to the move, of course, is a windmill. Your windmill is this. And what we're gonna do, when we add these two moves together, I'll break it down, I'll do one fast, and I'll do one slow. There's a few parts that we're gonna break this up into. Our back handspring will go from, our, obviously, our feet to our hands, and when our legs come over, one leg stays behind. And then it follows into a whip, you understand? So when I do it slow, understand that, yes, we pass through a handstand, so it would be easy to, to uh, go from handstand to windmill, but the move has so much momentum that the handstand barely exists, understand? So I'm gonna try and break it down as slow as possible so that you can understand and you'll see it two different motions, yeah? First is that back handspring, like I said, and this is where your body, this is where your body, this is when um, we work from uh, catching to whipping, right? So from the back handspring, if we do it slow, you're gonna come from here and then your legs open, right? If you wanna start with a warm up from a handstand to a windmill, which would be good, just make sure that you start with your legs from back here, right, at this position, so that you can swing down. And now let's see if we can do it slow, right? So from here, and around. All right? That is a super clean transition to use. So if, it, if you're in a spin move, if you're in footwork, you can literally come into this move from anywhere. You can hit an air freeze, and you can come down to your feet and hit your back handspring to your windmill. You can do footwork, and let's just say, for example, we use the kick out. The kick out would happen one, two, catch, windmill. Levels to me are some of the most important things. So when I share anything that I know, it has to do with going from mid, low, or high. We add them or we switch them and we flip them. So let's try to get it at a, at a full speed, yeah? And that's how I'd go from, obviously, I went from mid to low all the way up to high, yeah? It, your body works as one the whole time, but when we break it up, it goes from feet to hands and your legs happen to be like this. But what we wanna do is end up in a scissor position, whichever, whether it's your right or your left leg as your whip leg to, to build most of the momentum downward for your swing. So when we catch our back handspring, we're almost like in a hollow back before we whip down. So for here, my left leg, this leg, is my whip leg. It comes from here and it's going to whip straight down while the other leg scissors and keeps it up. Boom and it comes down. And that's the best way to go either from handstand down to windmill or backflip into windmill. Make sense? I just wanna let you guys know that this is my break advice for you. Make sure that you try to stay original, you try to hit your transitions and your levels. That's my advice to you, y'all. Peace.